So I was walking uh, around in the woods uh, the other day on Egon 2 in the hopes of finding another snuffle puffer. You remember that creature that I saw last time I went out on an expedition and uh, where I was wondering what this creature was uh, eating, if it was an omnivore or herbivore. Yeah, I, I haven't found out yet. Um, but while I was doing that, I stumbled across another little creature. And I thought, yeah, why not? I have a little, uh, little drawing of it. So I sat down and uh, watched this little lizard-like creature. It reminds me pretty much of a, of a gecko or something like that. Just for now I called it uh, Soromatus, an uh, additional Soromatus primary. It is a bright green little lizard-like creature. Uh, it has, uh, well at least this one has red stripes on its body. I don't exactly know what they are for. I mean, uh, could be that it is poisonous, so that it is like uh, showing predators that it should not be eaten or something. Uh, maybe I'm gonna find out if I can get close to one. It has um, two eyes, like uh, one eye with an iris and a pupil, and uh, one eye which has no iris at all, or no pupil at all, it just has like one colored dot. I don't know what it is for, if it has a different kind of uh, vision. Anyway, uh, additional to the eyes, it has four antennas. The two in the front are bigger and have uh, two bubbles, some uh, round things, maybe with uh, some, maybe they are some sensory device or like our insects at home uh, that they smell with that, but it also has a nose. The secondary antennas only have one of these uh, bubbles. I don't know, maybe it even has something like a thermo vision with that? Uh, I just can't say until I can um, get up close to one of these and catch one and bring it home. On its fingers it has no claws, but uh, it seems to have suction cups, you know, to grip onto a surface, onto a tree or something. So it's not uh, really gripping with pure strength, I would say, but like it's glued on there with some kind of suction. Anyway, I um, thought I'd share this discovery with you and I'm going to try and find out even more about this creature. For now I already have two creatures which I want to know more about, like the Snuffle Puffer. I haven't found another Snuffle Puffer yet during the days I'm here. And uh, now I have this little creature which is very intriguing. When I finished my drawing I went home and uh, colored in the, well, the, the way this uh, creature was colored from my memory so that I so that you can see what it looked like. Unfortunately, it was not sitting long enough on that branch so that I could color it uh, right on spot, so uh, the colors might be a little bit distorted from the original, but uh, you get the idea. I thank you for watching this video, and I hope that I can tell you a little bit more about these creatures the next time. Bye!